Hey guys, this is James. I want to make a short little video on my motorized bicycle I've worked really hard on for the past couple months. And I'll show you some things I did to it and what y'all could do and some things to stay away from. But uh, let me start off from the front and work my way back. Um, grips were the... Uh, I got these grips online for like nine bucks. Great deal. Duro tires. They ride great. Um, they go up to 50 PSI. Um, I love them. They're about 40 bucks a pair. Front and rear brakes. I got the 6cc high compression head. I got um, the F2 thrust pipe. Uh, obviously the springed chain tensioner. Um, I need to uh, adjust my uh, carburetor. The The main jet in it is, uh, I think it's a 70. It's just still a tad too rich. Um, needs to warm up quite a bit and basically wide open throttle is when it cleans up. Um, it's probably protecting the cylinder, but uh, I'm going to try a number 68. Um, another thing I did is the mounting method I did on it. The bolts they give you, the M8 bolts, are um, just too short. Uh, so what I did is I bought some, uh, I had to measure it first. But I got some uh, M8 55 millimeters, inch and a quarter. Uh, made sure it had enough depth to lock up in there. And uh, it uh, it works great, guys. Um, also, the chain, uh, 415 nickel-plated chain, uh, H, 415H. Uh, this Cranbrook, honestly, guys, I should have gone out with something a little more stretched out. I feel too uh, up close with it. Um, I'm trying to find a seat post that extends it more rearward without bringing it up. Uh, that's kind of hard to do. Um, what else? Guys, uh, my clutch assembly went out within about a month. See, this is the original one. Way, I noticed the BBs were, uh, the bearings in there were, uh, falling out. So, uh, it's really hard to find a complete assembly for this with the bearings already pressed in there and everything. So, uh, I called the guy that I originally got this from. You guys are going to laugh your ass off what he sent me. Uh, and he said he could send me a replacement part. I already had a replacement on its way because I knew he was probably didn't know what the fuck he was doing. So this is what the fuck he sent me. What the fuck? What am I supposed to do with this, bro? Dude, this is what you should have sent me. I mean, dude, like, anyway, I guess he tried, but this is just a paperweight. I can't do anything with this. What am I going to press the bearings in there myself and find the bearings or pay $20 and get a new one of these? Um, I paid $20 and just got a new one. Um, be careful when you guys are using your gear puller. It's really easy to strip it out, too. Um, I didn't do that, thank God. Um, what else did I put on here? Put some new pedals on there. The stock Huffy ones are just a tad bit too small for, for my tasting. Um, Bicycle Motorworks, guys, they're actually a good little company. They got good shit. Um, now their engines are a little overpriced. I wouldn't buy it from them. They have legit triple 40 Zeta motors for 120 on eBay right now. Um, I would stick with a... Basically a triple 40 balanced motor and what that is is a 40 millimeter stroke 40 millimeter intake 40 40 millimeter mounting <laughs> All right guys and another thing to look out for if you see a motor held together with Phillips heads or flat heads stay away from it You I mean it, it basically you want to look for Allen bolts all the way across all right the two top bicycle motors that I would choose are the CDH and the Zetas.
just their basic one. Don't buy all that extra bullshit that they probably ain't even doing to it. And remember that, guys, when you guys buy a kit, like I started off with, I mean, basically, that's what you got to do to start off with it, unless you're willing to jump into the deep end. But, dude, there really ain't nothing stock on here anymore. Just the uh, bottom end, the carburetor, the CDI. Oh, and the gas tank, which is already leaking. Um, I'm going to get the bigger 3 liter. Apparently, they're thicker gauge metal. But I'm just, uh, for this week, I'm just wearing this bitch out. But uh, I hit 40 miles an hour all day long. Um, that's pretty much my standard is, uh, if I'm going slower than 40, something's wrong, compression's wrong. Um, what did I do? Uh, that 6cc head, guys, um, if you guys are running two base gaskets, which a lot of them seem to be doing nowadays, you got plenty of room to run smaller, uh, smaller uh head gaskets uh let me show you what i what bicycle motor work sent me hold on one second guys all right guys i'm back all right let me show you something stock head gasket one millimeter okay they sent me ones from all the way up to uh 0.6 oh wait that's the 0.6 0.4 point and i got on there 0.2 right now Honestly, um, it, it, it could come down even farther, but uh, I'm not running it with no base gasket. I got the two on there now, and um, I'm thinking about running an extended uh, tip spark plug if I can get away with it. Um, and that's what I was going to say, guys. If you're running two base gaskets, you guys got plenty of room to drop that head down some more. Um, obviously, check. Don't just throw your spark plug and head on there and assume it's good to go um but yeah check your squish clearances um i hate these fucking wheels guys these cranbrook wheels just fucking blow nuts i've gone through three separate wheels already there you go <laughs> they all blown out through the brake side and they've been repacked with grease as soon as i got them that's not the issue guys i don't know what it is um, I'm taking these to a bike shop because I like the 12 gauge spokes and the steel wheels. I'm going to take that to a bike shop and see if they can put some, uh, better guts on the inside and maybe make it free wheels since I don't need the coaster brake anymore. I got front and rear brakes. Um, now on the F2 thrust pipe, guys, honestly, it's too much fucking money for what it is. It barely fit in here, guys. Like I had to, I mean... There's not even a damn cunt hair space in there. Stinger tail's too big. That's an inch diameter stinger tail. Which is almost the same diameter as the intake. I mean the exhaust um, header. <sighs> too big. It gets awesome bottom end. But uh, it didn't help at all with the top end. Sounds a little meaner. But also leaked. The welding on it is fucking horrible. For 60 bucks, guys, I'd rather just tape that on, tape a fucking $50 to your exhaust, and you're probably doing the same thing. The welds on there are shitty. Guys, go with the MZ65, or honestly, the stock one. Remove the muffler cap and go beast mode. Um, Guys, uh, tell me what you guys think. Uh, my next video will be... Uh, on a run, see what you guys think of it. Um, I climb up hills great. I live out here in Tennessee, and uh, 30 miles an hour up a hill, no deceleration. I don't need to help it at all. 40 miles an hour flat out. I've reached 43 top speed, but that was kind of downhill, so that ain't that don't count. Um, but yeah, uh, stock up on extra parts. If I were you guys, uh, don't just just because you got it all built, think it's settled and good to go, uh, shit's going to go wrong in it, all right? And uh, highly suggest stocking up on more clutch assemblies, honestly. So when they do go tits up, you can just pull them out, and like this one did. This one is fucking horrible, man. Didn't last long either. I oiled it and everything. Um, 
but yeah, you can just pull the whole assembly out and put a brand new one in here. What the fuck this shit is? I have no idea, and it was kind of dick to even send me that, but whatever. 36 tooth. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else to fucking say right now, so, uh, tell me what you guys think, man, or if you guys like any other videos of this. Anyway, later dudes.